Welcome to MTS Vlogs. Today I'm here at Nafuke Choudhury Paya's house to review the one of the most beautiful Mercedes-Benz S-Class in Bangladesh. It's here. So today we're doing the review of this. If you're not subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Let's start the review. So guys, first let's show you the tail lights of the Mercedes-Benz S-Class. So you can see it, it's a, it is a very nice design. So now I'm going to go to the inside of the car and turn on the lights for you. So let's do that real quick. Here we are inside. Foot on the brake, pressing the start button. There you go. The car has been started. The full light is on with the rear fog. This is for the hazards. And this is for reverse. There. And now I'm going to put it back to park. There. And now I'm going to come out and show you the rear tail light. So it obviously has self door close because it's an S class. So these are the tail lights. It's a very nice design. You have the hazards over here and the one, two, three slots of the tail lights. If you guys come a little closer, you could see those mini crystals inside. There's like a lot of crystal. Mercedes Benz have a lot of crystal in their tail lights. So one, two, three. Very nice. Then if we come out of the tail light, you have a lip spoiler over here. From Mercedes and this is also blacked out you have another spoiler over here but this is white because of the contrast of the black and white then this is also blacked out the logo is also blacked out you have the number plate slot are we in Bangladesh yes this is Nafiu Kechodri bro's number plate so he puts his name on every every on this car in his Range Rover and in this also so very nice you have two number plate slots the reversing camera comes out when you put it on reverse or if you need the 360 degree camera then this is the very nice design for the tail lights now let's show you the boot space so yes, now it's time for the boots so you can open it from the key from inside and from your leg so let's do it from our leg so you have to just keep the key on your pocket or your hand and just go to it there it opens so the storage it has 395 liters of space why so less this is the plug-in hybrid it needs the battery to sit but if you get the non-hybrids, you get like a 500 liters of mark. So you have the hybrid batteries over here. You have the Mercedes-Benz bag for the charger. You have the charger over here for your plug-in hybrid. You have the cushion for the seats inside. You have the first aid kit over here. You can see the Mercedes-Benz. And then you have net storage and over here. Then if you open this, you have your tire repair kit under here and the same hook that you can just put it like this there let's put that down let's close this there you have the emergency triangle over here your opener and locker there's a light over here because when your boot is open and your lights are not working this light is always on with a white light here and for closing it do the same thing it's going to close very good so i really think the mercedes benz back design is very nice so i'm just unlocking the car now i'll show you the town diffuser so because this car has the amg night package you can see everything is black over here you have a type of diffuser over here with another light here and then you have the exhaust pipes here and here this exhaust pipe is actually real come closer you can see there are two exhaust pipe inside there so this is just a fake surround but they are real exhaust pipe inside and on this side it's the same thing so this is for the rear you have sensors all around the back very nice and this is for your charger so when you come home you want to charge your car just put it in and it's going to charge then close this you have your battery stuff over here and then close this there so this is the rear of the car we are done it is a beautiful rear so what do you think which one is better the s-class the audi a8 or the bmw 7 series or the lexus ls now let's go on the side profile so guys on the side profile you have the wheel so these are the 20 inch full gloss black wheel it, these are very nice then let's see the size 245 40 are 20s so you can see the calipers are red and you have that amg written like whatever is AMG, you know that is powerful. You have six piston brakes at the front. You have four piston brakes at the front, back. The turning radius is going to be written over here. The front disc size is also going to be written over here. 
Now if we get up, this is the long wheelbase. So the wheelbase is 124 inch. Like it's so long. And look at the rear door because this is the long wheelbase. It's more longer. This is not the standard wheelbase. Now let's show you the side. So guys, then you have the side skirts over here that are also gloss black. And the ground clearance is 5.1 inch if the car is down because this has air suspension. You're going to see a little video of the air suspension after I fully show you the side profile. Then if we get up, you have gloss black over here and over here. And over here with the night package. The mirror is also black because of the night package. It has blind spot monitoring with lane departure assist and has a camera and a Mercedes-Benz light that project down here. So a camera and a Mercedes-Benz light that projects down. So there you can see. So at night, that's better, but we have what we can do. Soft door close on the doors. There, pulls it in. So very nice, the side profile. The rear wheels are more fatter because this is a rear wheel drive car. So the rear wheels are 275, 35 R20s. So these are more fatter wheels. These are Continental Sport Contacts 5P. Very sticky tires. Now we're done with the side profile and the rear of the car. Enjoy the air suspension video. So guys, now I'm going to show you the front of the car. So before that, this is the key of the Mercedes over here and the black. It feels like a premium key. So now we're going to show you the full front of the car. So let's quickly unlock the vehicle and let's show you the full front. So this is the grille. Now every single Mercedes in the W212 gets the V12 grille. So it is a very nice design. This is gloss black with chrome accents. Two star. This is gloss black. This is in the normal color. This actually opens for the front camera. I'm going to show you that. Then you have the number plate slot with the number plate. This car hasn't been registered yet. Then you have sensors over here and intakes to cool the engine. Over here, actually the radiators. Then you have the same gloss black over here. And if you go on this side, you have the very nice chrome and intakes to go inside. This is actually not functional, it's for design. Another sensor here. So very aggressive front, actually, I love it. Now let's show you the headlights. So guys, now let's show you the headlights. So I'm going to get inside the car and let's turn on the lights. So here we are in I'm going to turn on the lights now. So just fixing my seat and put on the brake, pressing the start button. The car has been started. It's doing its dance. The full light is on with the hazards, the high beam full light is on. Yeah, this is for the high beam, this is for the high beam off. And for the 360 degree camera, you have to go to cameras and it's going to come. There. This is for the front camera that opens and I get a full wide view of the front and a full straight view. Now, let's close the camera and I'm going to come out high beam, high beam off. So, let's come out of the car now. Soft door closed, so handle that. So, the headlights these are the multi-beam headlights from mercedes it has three eyebrows because this is the s-class the older e-class gets the two eyebrows and the older c-class gets one but the newer models the s-class get three projector setup the e-class gets two projector setup the c-class gets one projector setup so this is the w222 that's why these have the old headlights very nice daytime running lights that are going to come if you turn off the hazard so if I just do that right away here here so one side is the hazards and one side is the daytime running lights very nice design over here are the multi beam projector setup over here and the two and the three lights over here come a little closer you have multi beam written over here very nice over here and you have Mercedes Benz written over here like the attention to detail on this headlight wow Mercedes very nice so now we're done showing you the headlights of the car. Let's go on the beautiful interior. So guys, now let's show you this beautiful interior. First of all, I'll show you the dash. So you can see it has this full Napa leather over here. That's very nice. And this is also full leather 
brown stitching all the way goes still here. Very nice. You have an AC vent over here with the stopper there. You have this very nice wooden trim over here too and metallic finish. And if you open the glove box, you have the fragrance, the perfume of the car that you can that comes with the air conditioner so there and then here we close the glove box i'm just going to put it on ignition and the ambient lighting is going to turn on there so you can see it's it's on blue right now it has this very nice ambient lighting that all the way comes still here so if you go on car right now i have to press again and here, so if you go on car, and then you go on light settings, here, and then if you go on ambient lighting, then if you go here, you have ocean blue, so it's on ocean blue right now, you have purple sky, there then you have red moon there then you have fire red there then you have dawn blue so i'm going to show you the full ambient lighting a little later you have the seats so these are very comfortable full napa leather seats so if you guys come from this side i can actually control that seat so i can raise it up there i can get it back i can get a front i can move the back i could get the under thigh support there i can get the headdress down the headdress is also powered adjustable it comes front it goes back there so very nice so these are for the seats. These are ventilated and heated and massaged. Very nice for Mercedes. So this is for the side actually. Now you guys can go on the back. Let's show you full this part. So guys, first of all, let's show you this part. So if you just get this, you have your two cup holders and another whole storage for your key. You could put the key over here, there. And then you have a 12 volt charging socket there and then if you close this there you have another storage over here that you can hide your second phone you can hide your second phone very nice the car locked itself so i have to go and unlock it again there it keeps locking itself put that back to its place then you have this you have a lot of controls you have the seat control navigation radio hazards media telephone car you have your drive selector your battery of the car you raise it or lower it your parking cameras parking sensors off seat controls volume power off touchpad and the civil wheel now let's show you the infotainment so start of the car you can see the mercedes benz comes up and just look at the ambient lighting it has a sliding ambient lighting starting from the door all the way comes still here very nice so it takes some time for the infotainment to come because this is the older generation of the infotainment this is not the mbux let's go on vehicle settings there there we have light settings ambient lighting <coughs> and we are here so now it's on ocean blue if we go here this is purple sky it's the same it's just a little bit more purple then you have the, my favorite the red moon so it has red over here and blue over here just look at that ambient lighting i love mercedes-benz ambient lighting then you have fire red sorry then you have dawn blue sun yellow very nice and then the green so I'm going to leave it on red moon for the meantime and let's go back to 
to vehicle settings you have a lot of things like if you just press here you have your refreshment too you can go for everything so you just come out of the office and you're very tired you're going to go home just press this everything is going to be relaxed i feel like i'm underwater right now like the cold air is coming out the light changes and it is so comfortable my mood is really good so now i can drive home slowly and beautifully now if i just turn that off because i'm obviously in a good mood and now let's go back there then you have your hybrid settings so you can see the mercedes-benz s class right there like the charge settings and the energy flow very nice now if we go back from here you have the dynamic select you have your individual so what you want to drive in so i want my drive in comfort the suspension on comfort the steering on sport and my traction control on sport my eco on off that's it and now if we go back once more you have your mercedes benz right there very nice so i'm gonna go back back then you have your assistance for your car light settings if you go on light settings you have the exterior light settings so here if I just turn that off, it's not going to turn on when you unlock the car, but I want that to be. Then you have over here the auto headlights. Then you have the lights at the mirror that come out for the Mercedes. Then you have the exterior light turn off. So I want it to be on 30 seconds. Yeah, that's good. Now let's get out of here. You have your interior lights. So I want that to turn off in 15 seconds after I turn off the car. And that's it. If you go back once more, you have your vehicle settings. Now if we go back to home, here, you have your vehicle, you have your contact, in-car office, telephone, media, radio, navigation. So if you go on navigation, you can see the earth right there. There, it's very nice. 1,000 kilometer away. Well, wow. let's go 500. This is the, like top, it doesn't go more than that. Going back to home, just leave it here. This is a 12.3 inch screen. This is a 12.3 inch screen. This is this was the second generation of the S Class getting this full screen. Very nice. Then you have four AC vents. One, two, three, four. And then you have Mercedes Benz clock in the middle with chrome surround. You have your AC controls over here. So this is for your fan speed. It comes up here. So seven. I'm going to leave it at two. Then you have your air, your rear windshield heater, your menu settings, you have your front windshield heater, your car's AC, the passenger AC fan speed, the passenger climate control. So there, like the Mercedes, it goes red and it goes blue. So I'm going to leave it at 20 and my side on 20. There, very nice. And then the air con can be off from here. You have your trigger stoppers over here. Very nice. And just, I can't wait to just see the ambient. I can see the ambient lighting all day. So now we're done showing you the ambient lighting. I'm just going to open the cover of the front sunroof. There. And this has the Burmester high-end sound system. So here you can see it has the twitters that come out. So if you turn off the car, it goes in. And if you turn on the car, it comes out. Very nice design, actually. So this is for the front. Very nice. You have your rear view mirror. This is auto dim and it is frameless. You have lights over here. Very nicely designed. Here, it is very bright. Then you have your reading lights. So here, this is your reading light. This is a passenger reading light. There, so I'm going to leave the lights on for the meantime. You have a sunglass holder, fully velveted inside. And this is for the rear sunroof opener that I'm going to show you right away. There. So, very nice at the front actually. Now, come from the driver's side, we'll show you the steering wheel. So guys, now we have the steering wheel. So this is the new steering wheel one from Mercedes and it is power adjustable. Goes down, goes up. And it is telescope. So it comes to you back 
So this is the best position for me. So here. So now the steering wheel. It has full leather all around. Metal studs over here and here. So you know, these are the controls to control the infotainment here. And the volume buttons. These are the control to control this screen that we're going to show you in a bit. So here. So very nice. You can control the infotainment system from here and from here and the touchpad three ways. Then you have the paddle shifters. So these are the normal paddle shifters inside. And then bro installed his big paddle shifters because he likes it big. So here, up shift, down shift, up shift. Very nice. Okay. Then because it's the Mercedes, you have your hazards over here, your windshield wiper controls over here, and you have your gear knobble over here. So drive, reverse, or neutral. I'm gonna put it back to park there so this is for the steering wheel it is very nice it has the horn over here with brown stitching and the airbag and the Mercedes star very nice then over here you have your rear blind opener that I'm going to show you there so it's going to close now there for that and then over here you will have gloss black this is for lane keep assist. So I'm going to turn that off there. Here. And then you have ambient lighting. The startup button over here. The headlight control. So you can actually put one side parking on and one side off on Mercedes cars and the rear fog. And you have the parking brake over here. This is for leave. This is for on. There. That's it. You have Mercedes-Benz scratch plates over here that illuminate. And then you have the door. So if we come out of here, you have the Burmester high-end sound system. Like I told you, you have the speaker over here and the Twitter. So if you turn off the car, there you go. It goes in. If you turn the car on, it comes out. Very nice. Then you have the seat. So you can control the passenger seat. It is heated and ventilated there then you have three memory seats and these are your seat controls so now i'm going to control the seat so this is for the under thigh support it's fully in so i'm going to get it inside there this is for getting it front getting it back your back and the headrest the headrest it's also powered there so then you have controls over here like your outside rear view mirror your window controls that are fully powered here very nice like it's a very nice design then closes it is double glazed to wait let me just show you there it is double glazed so the outside noise doesn't come in there close it again there we go you have the door opener over here with ambient lighting lock and unlock the same full leather and brown interior storage over here to put your water bottle and your fragrance you have your boot opener over here like i told you you can now let's show you the rpm and then we're going to go on the rear seat so guys now it's time for the rpm so unlock the car put it on ignition there we go it turns on it says eq power and then there you have the dials very nice now we can start up the car there so these are the 12 inch 12.3 inch digital rpm so you can change them also so if we go here there so you have progressive this is the sportiest mode then you can change from here navigation your eco display your from start, your G force, and back here. Over here, if you want the RPM or your foot receiver. And over this side, you have just these. And you have classic that you can change over here. There's nothing. Then you have the normal sport. So I like it in progressive. And then if you press here, you can see which what you want on this side. So I want my designs so here 
you have the outside temperature, you have the parking brake seat belt, that red line says 6,500, and you have your comfort or sport here. So if you go on sport, the car turns on or individual or comfort or eco. So I'm gonna leave it at sport. There you go. And over here you have your gears, so there it's on drive one and if i want to manually shift there one two it, it has a nine speed multi clutch transmission now put it back to park there we go the parking brake is on yeah you have your cruise control over here the speed warning over this side you have your hybrid ready and the miles per hour over here you have the kilometer per hour and the eq you have the char you have the petrol so it has 100 percent it has a full tank then you have how much charge you have that you can drive. So you have 28 kilometers that you can go with the charge. This is for the free or fog and the full lights off. So there. So this is it. Now if you turn it off, there. It's going to slowly go. And if you lock the car, there. It goes away. So guys, now we're done showing you the front of the car. Soft door close. And you also have lights on four of the doors. Very nice. And the fuel tank is over here. I forgot to show you the fuel tank. If you just open it, it opens, then you have storage. So the capacity is 21 gallons. If you want it on liters, it's going to be written right here. So then close it. Here we go. Now let's go on the rear seat. So if you're sitting on the rear, you should sit on the passenger side's rear seat because this is where the boss is sitting at. So let's get inside. So guys, now we're on the rear seat. So let's open all the blinds. There, so it has a blind over here for the windows and it has privacy glass. So here goes up and it's called the pleasant blockers here very nice and then you have another sunroof over here you can close it there and you have it one for the rear so i'm going to get the tissue box out and here and now i'm going to leave this here let's get the center armrest down here it slowly comes up and if we lift this up you have some storage actually no you have the remotes for the rear infotainment system that I'm going to show you right now so let's leave one inside close this you have two cup holders here's so if you need it push it down there and if you don't need it press here press here it's gonna come up there and you can also control the headrest over here, so it is also powerly adjustable. So I'm going to leave it inside. There. Then you have your rear infotainment. You just press here, it turns on, so you can see the Mercedes Benz written. If you want to see it, you can see it over here, so Mercedes Benz. And then you can come over here, it's not touch screen. But the new one gets the touch screen so you can control it from here if you want to go on navigation or media let's go on media you can actually control that center screen from here there if you want to go on car there if you want to go on light settings there light settings ambient lighting now let's change the color to red moon you can see that red and pink finish over here you have the blue over here and you have it over here the Burmester sound system your controls for the seats your rear infotainment system your grab handle with your reading lights off and on there so i'm gonna leave it off there just look at that ambient lighting 
It is so nice. So I'm now I'm gonna off the infotainment, putting the its its place so there. And if we close this and come over here, it has through loading. So this is the boot. You can put some stuff over here. But if you get the refrigerator, there's actually a fridge over here. Very nice. Close this. There. Open. Close. You have the ambient lighting over here behind the seats and you have amazing cushion behind the seats. Now, let's get this back up. There. So guys, you have the four zone climate control. Let's turn on the full lights, the full brightness. So if you just press over here, you have my side. So here and the color also changes the same. There on you have this side here. You have where you want your air to be there and you have the wind speed so i'm going to leave it off you have two air vents over here and it's very goodly organized it's trigger stoppers and your cd out open this you have your two power outlet and a cigarette lighter over here so there it's in there it's out there it's in so this is for the rear seat it is very gorgeous you have your seat pockets over here and another one over here so it is very nicely organized you have some mirrors over here some vanity mirrors very nice and it's really bright there and on this side too there now come from this side let's get the seat to a first class first class airplane so guys now let's get the front seat to my best position so let's just press this front seat are moving it's raising up the screen is adjusting the headdress is going to go down and there it goes now my seat is going to get front so my foot is it's coming out so there there and then this is for the seat control this is for getting it back and this is for the headrest there that's it for the seat now i can relax in comfort there that is this is the best position that i can sit very amazing then you have an ac vent over here and a suit holder over here and in the four doors you have the mercedes-benz logo and the mercedes-benz written now i'm going to close the door and after we're done taking a small nap over here we're going to show you the engine so guys we almost lost 35 minutes of the review so let's get our seat to back its position you have to hold it there my seat is going to its position again there and the front seat is going to get to its position there 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 we go so now the f every single seat is in comfort and now let's get the armrest up because we are done there the armrest is also up now turn off the ventilated seats there we go now i'm going to come in this side because we didn't show you the door yet so you have the permister sound system you have your seat controls memory seat heating and ventilated ambient lighting the wooded finish again full leather you have your blind control so here and then here this is also double glazed there very nice and then let's get this up and then let's get this up and then you have the door pockets that you can put your storage and stuff like that 
the Mercedes-Benz logo, and that's it. So now let's close the door. So we are fully done with the exterior and interior of the car. Now let's show you the engine. So guys, now let's show you the engine. So for that, there's the opener over here. There you go. And soft door close over here. Now let's open the engine and talk about the engine. So here and the hydraulic shots are going to do the work. So the engine, this is a three liter inline six turbocharged engine with 480 horsepower and 700 newton meters of torque. It has rear wheel drive, it has a nine speed multi-clutch transmission. And let's talk about the variants that you can get. First, you can get the S450 that has a three liter V6 non-hybrid. Then you can get the S500 that gets the three liter straight six, but with more power. Then you get the S560 that we're reviewing now. Then you get the AMG models like the 63 with the four liter twin turbo V8 and the 65 the 6 liter V12 and the Maybach, the S650. So I think this is a beautiful car and the exterior, the interior, I love it. This is for the engine, very nice. You have insulation, petrol engine. Like look at how big the engine is, very nice. Now for closing it, let's get it down. Here, boom, there you go. So the engine bay has been closed, so now you guys can enjoy the close view of the car and let's see you at the ending. So guys, now we're on the ending. You guys just came from the close view. So thanks to Nafiu K. Choudhury, bro, to give me his Mercedes-Benz S-Class. So because he gave me this, I want to give him a shout out. So go on his description. It's going to be his Instagram account. Go show him some love. So the competitors of this car, it's the Mercedes-Benz S-Class, the BMW 7 Series. Then you have the Audi A8 and the Lexus LS. So I think, in my opinion, the S-Class is the best on this competitor and it is obviously better than the BMW 7 Series and the, the Audi A8. So the new S-Class is coming. So let's see what the new one is. But I think this is the best S-Class that Mercedes-Benz made. Now see you at the next review. Peace.